Greetings, aspiring electrical engineering students. Welcome to the fascinating world of point absorber wave power conversion systems. In your journey to become electrical engineers, exploring the realm of renewable energy is both exciting and vital for our sustainable future. Point absorber systems offer a captivating field of study, where the power of ocean waves can be harnessed and transformed into clean electricity. Point absorber wave power conversion systems are innovative technologies designed to capture the energy from ocean waves and convert it into usable electrical power. These systems involve buoyant structures, such as floating buoys or submerged devices, which move up and down with the motion of the waves. By capturing the wave energy, these structures generate mechanical forces that are then converted into electricity through sophisticated power takeoff systems. As electrical engineers, you will delve into the intricacies of designing, optimizing, and controlling these systems. You will explore concepts such as power capture control, PTO efficiency, electrical generator design, and grid integration. Your knowledge of electrical circuits, control systems, power electronics, and renewable energy will find practical application in the development and advancement of point absorber wave power conversion systems. By studying this topic, you will contribute to the realization of a sustainable energy future. Point absorber systems offer immense potential for generating clean, renewable electricity from the vast energy reservoir of our oceans. Understanding and innovating within this field will help address the global energy challenge, reduce dependence on fossil fuels, and mitigate climate change. As you embark on your learning journey, be prepared for an interdisciplinary exploration that encompasses engineering, physics, environmental science, and more. Collaboration with experts in fluid dynamics, materials science, and marine engineering will enhance your understanding of the complex interactions between waves, structures, and power conversion processes. Keep in mind that the field of point absorber wave power conversion systems is still evolving, and there are numerous opportunities for innovation and improvement. The challenges ahead are both technical and practical, including optimizing efficiency, ensuring system durability, navigating regulatory frameworks, and integrating wave power farms into existing energy infrastructures. Embrace your curiosity, be open to new ideas, and actively seek out research, projects, and internships that allow you to gain hands-on experience in this exciting field. As electrical engineering students, you have the potential to shape the future of renewable energy and contribute to a more sustainable planet. So, let's embark on this learning journey together. Unlocking the mysteries of point absorber wave power conversion systems and harnessing the immense power of our oceans for a cleaner and brighter future. A point absorber wave power conversion system is a type of technology used to harness the energy from ocean waves and convert it into electricity. It is designed to capture wave energy at a single point or location, typically through the use of a buoyant structure that moves up and down with the motion of the waves. This buoyant structure is connected to a power takeoff system, which converts the mechanical energy of the waves into electrical energy. The basic concept behind a point absorber system is that the buoyant structure absorbs the energy from the waves as it rises and falls, and this energy is then transferred to a power conversion system. The power takeoff system may use various methods to convert mechanical energy into electricity, such as hydraulic systems, linear generators, or other types of energy conversion technologies. One of the advantages of point absorber systems is their ability to operate in a wide range of wave conditions and adapt to different wave directions. They can be deployed in coastal areas or offshore environments, depending on the specific design and requirements. Point absorber wave power conversion systems offer the potential for generating renewable and sustainable energy from the ocean, contributing to the diversification of the energy mix and reducing reliance on fossil fuels. It's important to note that there are different designs and configurations of point absorber systems, and ongoing research and development are focused on improving their efficiency, reliability, and cost effectiveness. A point absorber wave power conversion system works by harnessing the energy from ocean waves and converting it into usable electricity. Here is a general overview of how a typical point absorber system operates. Buoyant structure. 
The system consists of a buoyant structure, such as a floating buoy or a submerged device, that is designed to move up and down with the motion of the waves. This structure is typically connected to an anchoring system to keep it in place. Wave energy absorption. As waves pass by the buoyant structure, it rises and falls in response to the wave motion. This movement allows the structure to absorb the energy from the waves. Power takeoff system. The absorbed wave energy is transferred to a power takeoff, PTO, system, which is responsible for converting the mechanical energy into electrical energy. The PTO system may vary depending on the specific design of the point absorber system but commonly includes hydraulic systems, linear generators, or other conversion technologies. Energy conversion. The PTO system converts the mechanical motion of the buoyant structure into rotational or linear motion, which is then used to drive an electrical generator. The generator produces electricity as a result of this mechanical energy conversion. Power distribution. The generated electricity is typically conditioned and then transmitted to an onshore or offshore power grid for distribution to consumers. Control systems. Point absorber systems often incorporate control systems to optimize their performance. These systems may adjust the motion of the buoyant structure, the power capture, or the energy conversion process to maximize the efficiency and stability of the system under varying wave conditions. It's important to note that the specific design and components of a point absorber system can vary depending on factors such as wave characteristics, site conditions, and technological advancements. Ongoing research and development are aimed at improving the efficiency, reliability, and cost-effectiveness of point absorber wave power conversion systems. The efficiency of point absorber systems in converting wave energy into electricity can vary depending on several factors, including the specific design and configuration of the system, wave characteristics, and operational conditions. It's important to note that wave energy conversion technologies are still evolving, and efficiency levels can vary across different systems and projects. Here are some key points regarding the efficiency of point absorber systems. Wave energy capture efficiency. Point absorber systems typically capture a fraction of the total wave energy passing through their operational area. The efficiency of energy capture depends on the design and responsiveness of the system to the incoming waves. Advanced control systems and optimized designs aim to improve energy capture efficiency. Power takeoff, PTO. Efficiency. The PTO system is responsible for converting the mechanical energy from the wave motion into electrical energy. The efficiency of the PTO system plays a significant role in the overall efficiency of the point absorber system. Different PTO technologies have varying levels of efficiency, and ongoing research focuses on improving their performance. Conversion efficiency. The electrical generator within the point absorber system converts the mechanical energy from the PTO system into electrical energy. The conversion efficiency of the generator affects the overall efficiency of the system. Modern generator designs strive for high conversion efficiencies to maximize electricity production. System integration efficiency. The efficiency of the overall system can also be influenced by factors such as power conditioning, grid connection, and losses during transmission. Efficient power conditioning and grid integration processes are important to ensure minimal energy losses. Overall, the efficiency of point absorber systems in converting wave energy into electricity can range from around 20% to 50% or more, depending on the specific system and operational conditions. It's worth noting that improving the efficiency of wave energy conversion technologies is an ongoing research and development goal, and advancements in design, control systems, and component technologies are expected to enhance the overall efficiency of point absorber systems in the future. Control systems play a crucial role in optimizing the performance, stability, and power capture of point absorber wave power devices. These control systems employ various strategies and techniques to ensure efficient energy conversion and safe operation. Here are some commonly used control systems and strategies in point absorber wave power devices. Power capture control. This control strategy focuses on optimizing the power capture from incoming waves. 
It involves adjusting the response of the buoyant structure or the PTO system to maximize energy absorption. Advanced control algorithms analyze wave characteristics in real time and adjust the system's response to achieve optimal power capture. Reactive control. Reactive control systems respond to the motion and forces exerted on the point absorber system in real time. They adjust the system's damping, stiffness, or other parameters to ensure stability and optimal energy conversion. Reactive control can help mitigate excessive motion or dynamic loads caused by irregular or extreme wave conditions. Predictive control. Predictive control systems anticipate upcoming wave conditions and adjust the system's response accordingly. They use wave prediction models and real-time wave data to forecast wave characteristics and optimize power capture. Predictive control can help improve system performance by preemptively adjusting system parameters to upcoming wave conditions. Load control. Load control strategies focus on managing the electrical load demand and power output of the system. They adjust the power output based on grid requirements, energy storage availability, or other operational constraints. Load control helps ensure stable operation and efficient utilization of the generated power. Active stabilization. Active stabilization techniques counteract the motion and disturbances induced by waves to maintain system stability. They use actuators or control mechanisms to apply counterforces or adjust the buoyant structure's position or orientation. Active stabilization helps mitigate excessive motion, enhance energy capture, and protect the system from extreme wave events. Fault detection and safety systems. Point absorber devices may incorporate fault detection and safety systems to ensure safe operation. These systems monitor various parameters such as structural integrity, power system components, and environmental conditions, to detect anomalies or potential failures. In case of detected faults or hazardous situations, safety mechanisms can be activated, such as shutdown procedures or emergency responses. The control systems and strategies employed in point absorber wave power devices are often tailored to the specific system design, wave characteristics, and operational requirements. Advanced control algorithms, machine learning techniques, and real-time data analysis are being utilized to optimize the performance and efficiency of these systems. Ongoing research and development efforts continue to improve control strategies for point absorber wave power devices. As we conclude our exploration into point absorber wave power conversion systems, we invite you, aspiring electrical engineering students, to share your thoughts and opinions. What excites you the most about the potential of harnessing wave energy? How do you envision the integration of point absorber systems into our existing energy infrastructure? What challenges do you foresee in the widespread adoption of this technology? We eagerly await your insights and perspectives as we collectively shape the future of renewable energy. Join the discussion.